Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sahar. I am a 1L at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign and I would love to have you as a subscriber. I will also link my social media down below if you would like to follow me elsewhere. But today is my first day of orientation. It is currently 8.37 a.m. and I completely forgot that I was vlogging today. I've been up since 6 a.m. doing things and I just, it completely slipped my mind that I was gonna vlog my orientation. So we're starting a couple hours later into my day, but I woke up this morning at six and went to the gym um, and I came home. I'm eating breakfast now. I have oatmeal with fruit and of course we've got coffee because I cannot survive without coffee, but look how cute this mug is. It says, see you later, little gator. My best friend got it for me last year, I think, for my birthday, and it's literally the cutest thing ever. Of course, I had to use this on my first day of orientation, but I am currently working on some readings for next week. I have my whiteboard. I finally got it put up. I got some command strips the other day, so the whiteboard is ready to be used. And I've clearly been pretty productive the last couple of days. I'm trying to get all my readings for Monday and Tuesday knocked out so that I'm not super stressed. And I'm just going to do like a quick five, 10 minute review of it before each class. But I didn't wanna do like the entire week's reading because I feel like doing any more than Monday and Tuesday, I would just not remember like anything, even when I review. So I'm trying to just stick to doing a Monday and Tuesday. And for the most part, I'm almost done. I think I just have um, torts for Tuesday, which I'm working on right now and crim for Tuesday, which I will probably do tomorrow. But yeah, I'm just here. I'm working on that. I am going to finish this and finish my breakfast and coffee and everything and shower. Um, I didn't really sweat at the gym. I honestly didn't have a great workout. Like I was just not energized this morning, which is weird because I really, really like to work out in the mornings. But for some reason today, every single exercise I was doing, I just did not want to. I think I just didn't want to lift today and I was forcing myself to lift because I really didn't want to do like cardio or anything, but I ended up walking on the treadmill for like 10 minutes at the end. But yeah, I didn't have a really good workout, literally didn't sweat at all, which is why I haven't really showered yet. Um, it's a little gross, but I am going to head out a little early because I have to go pick up my student ID card from the um, student union building. And it's like right next to the law building. So I'm gonna do that right before I go to orientation. But they made orientation at such a weird time. Like why is it in the middle of lunch? Because now I'm going to have to eat lunch at like 11 a.m. And I don't want to do that, especially because I'm still finishing my breakfast. So in two hours, I'm going to be eating again, whatever. Um, so yeah, day one of orientation. I am excited, obviously, but I'm also really nervous. I kind of had a panic attack last night just thinking about orientation. I am just really nervous. I am a huge introvert. And so the idea of meeting new people and having to talk for an entire day is honestly really stressful. And I, I don't know, I'm like, I'm not nervous or anxious about the content. I'm not even nervous about like the first day of school. Like I thought I would be freaking out about cold calls, but I'm really not, like I feel good. But it's just the social aspect of law school, which I knew I would have trouble with. I'm just super anxious about it this morning. So I'm hoping and I kind of know it'll go better than I'm thinking in my head. But right now, the idea of having to meet so many new people just surrounded by strangers for like six hours Okay, it's only 10.30, but I'm already ready because 
I got too excited. <laughs> but I just got ready right after my shower, so I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. Um, I just curled my hair. I don't usually curl my hair. I honestly never do anything to my hair. It always looks gross, but I figured since we're getting professional headshots today, I would put in a little bit more effort, and then I obviously did my makeup, but it's like so simple. Um, I don't have lipstick on because I'm about to eat lunch, so don't judge me, but we, we've got lipstick, I promise. Um, I'm wearing just like the most basic, why is this chair in the way? Okay, I'm wearing like the most basic outfit ever when it comes to business professional, but um, my black blazer is from Express. My white button down is honestly from like Shein, I think. Um, I was gonna wear, you can kind of see it, this one, but it's super wrinkled, so I couldn't do that. Um, so yeah, uh, oh, I also have this necklace, which I have no idea where I got it from, but it's cute, um, but yeah. That and then the pants are just black slacks from Van Heusen and I'm gonna wear nude um, heels with this. But I don't wear shoes in the house because Asian culture. So enjoy my little slippers. <laughs> but that is my outfit. I'm gonna take this off now because it's really freaking hot. Um, I think now I'm just going to relax for like the next hour, eat some lunch in a little bit even though I literally just ate breakfast, but you gotta do what you gotta do, and then we will head out, and I will take you along with me. Nerves are at peak high right now, so I'm hoping I calm down a little bit. Maybe I'll drink some tea or something to calm me down, but I probably won't. I love being anxious. It's now 7.30, I'm obviously back home. I showered, took my contacts off. Like I'm in comfy clothes. I was not about to sit in that suit any longer than I needed to, but I got home about like 30 minutes, 45 minutes ago. And I actually had a really good time, which I, I like knew I would have a good time. I knew I would meet people and talk and everybody would be super friendly and everything like that, but if you're someone with anxiety, you would know. It's like the logical part of your brain knows that everything's gonna be fine, but the anxiety still decides that you're gonna worry about things that don't need to be worried about. So yeah, it definitely went better than I was thinking, but also at the same time kind of expected that. Um, everyone seems so nice, like staff, faculty, obviously the the students everyone seems really kind and I've met a lot of people so it was a little overwhelming like I'm honestly very socially drained so I think I'm just gonna spend the rest of my evening curled up in bed probably watch a movie or watch some tv or something like that just to kind of de-stress um because that was a lot in one day but um, yeah, I met a lot of people and I also met a lot of people in my section, which was really cool to kind of familiarize with myself with some faces um, for the first day of class, which is on Monday. So that was good. Tomorrow we have a full day. There is like some kind of event that SBA is putting on, like the Student Bar Association, which I will probably stay at depending on how tired I am. But like, I want to push myself to like, get out there and like talk to people like I'm actually really proud of myself I like went up to some people and like introduced myself which just is not something I would normally do ever but I was like you know what I came here to law school and I want to really take advantage of things and I want to change my socially awkward self and it's also like networking right like lateral networking so I wanted to make sure that I was exposing myself to it early on so it's going to be a lot easier for me when it comes time to like OCI and talking to attorneys and things like that which is definitely going to be different obviously than talking to my fellow peers but I feel like I'm I'm taking the right steps right now which I'm really really proud of myself for it was very hard to go up to people and just say like hi I'm Sahar what's your name like that's just so weird to me even though like people did that to me 
Like they came up to me and I thought it was perfectly normal and I was like so glad that someone did that. Yeah, but anyways, it's all to say that I had a really good day. I had a really, really good day today. It was a good first day and I'm excited for tomorrow. Also, you guys, this is such a rambly clip, but I'm just like de-stressing. You know, I'm letting I'm letting a friend know how my day went, even though I already called my friends and my boyfriend and everything. But um, I ran into somebody today, or someone like ran into me on purpose, um, and recognized me from this YouTube channel, which is crazy because I obviously don't have a lot of followers on here. But that was so cool that someone was like, hey, like. Do you have a YouTube channel? Like I've watched a couple of your videos, blah, blah, blah. Like, so that was really cool. Um, so if you go to Illinois, if you're in my 1L class, let me know because I want friends. Um, and also if you just go to U of I in general or you're in like your 2L or 3L, let me know. That would be really cool. I'm just going to curl up in bed and I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning, probably bright and early when I wake up at 6 a.m. again. All right, good morning everybody. It is now Thursday, so day two of orientation. It is currently 7.13 in the morning, and I'm already ready because I got ready a lot quicker this morning because I didn't have to do my hair. I threw it up in this scrunchie that I'm now realizing doesn't match because I was gonna wear different pants, and the scrunchie matched those pants. So let me go grab a different one. Okay, the hair is going to stay the same, but instead of this obnoxious mustard color, I'm just going to do a gray. So, ignore that, but it will be in a ponytail because I have some curls left over that kind of just look like waves now. And I thought I could push my hair for washing one more day, which I think is good. Um, I did just my normal makeup. As always, this necklace is from somewhere. I don't know, honestly. And also, I didn't show you guys my earrings, but um, they're either from... This one's from Swarovski. This one is from Ana Luisa. And then these are all Etsy. And then I think same on this ear. Swarovski, Ana Luisa, and Etsy. So, yeah. And then I wear the same, like, bracelet ring combination. This is from Ana Luisa, and this is my Pandora charm bracelet. As for my outfit today, it's supposed to be business casual, so I'm wearing one of my favorite work outfits. And it's not very interesting because everything's from Shein. So this shirt is just this white blouse. It has like sheer sleeves with these like ball detailing and then it cuffs. Really cute. And then these pants. I love these pants. They have this really cute little belt here um, that you can't really see because my shirt, but uh, yeah, these are also from Shein, and then of course I'm not wearing shoes in the house, but I'm going to be just wearing some black heeled booties. Like, they have a very small heel, but I figured because of the cut of the pants, I should wear some sort of heeled shoes, and I got so many blisters yesterday wearing actual heels that I am not doing that again. So I'm going to wear some heeled booties because that is so much more comfortable, but... I also wanted to show you guys the purse that I've been using. This is from Guess, but I got it from Marshalls, and I really like it. It's so cute. Um, it's definitely going to be like my work bag and just orientation bag right now. So the plan today is obviously it's really early right now. Orientation doesn't start until 9.30, but we are getting breakfast at 8.45, um, and I have a car appointment at 8, so I'm going to go to the mechanic, drop my car off at 8, and then Uber to the law school, and I think I've given myself enough time to where I would get there, like, right when breakfast is starting, or, like, just before, which is good, so I haven't eaten anything yet, which, you know, is both good and bad. There's also going to be snacks 
they're feeding us real good. Um, the only like downside is there is a, an SBA, a student bar association event afterwards. They sent out an email that like 15 minutes after orientation ends today, so like 4.30, they're having a scavenger hunt and free pizza and it's gonna be like a really good time. But unfortunately I can't go because my car troubles so I have to go like Uber back to the mechanic and pick up my car. That kind of sucks because I really wanted to do that and also like free pizza. But it's okay. There will be more events. I think there's something tomorrow but it seems like it's going to be really active outdoors in the middle of the afternoon. So it might be a little hot. I mean definitely not as hot as Texas but it's still gonna be like 82 degrees and I will be in jeans and a shirt so I don't know if I'm gonna do that again I will not be filming anything during orientation because duh um but I will update you guys later maybe I'll do some more montage clips today okay hello I'm gonna do my laundry while I talk to you guys because I've had like a terrible day so all I want to do is just this freaking laundry and then go to sleep because I'm just not feeling it. Okay, the angle was really bothering me and I also, my mom called me, so I was just talking to her while I was throwing my laundry in. But as I was saying, I've just been having not a great day, but orientation itself, like the content was really good. We, I feel like today I definitely liked and enjoyed a lot more than yesterday because one, we got a lot of food. And also we got like a little goodie bag, which I will show you guys. Like I'll do like a little haul, but we went over how to read cases. So they taught us like exactly what to look for, how to really like dig into these cases to figure out like what we're supposed to get out of it. And it kind of made me realize that I should probably go back and reread the cases that I've already done just to make sure I did most of like what they said. Um, I feel like I really did pay attention to a lot of the analysis, but I do want to definitely like review. I'm not gonna do any of it like today or anything because one, I'm really tired. And two, I'm gonna have to review for my Monday and Tuesday classes anyways over the weekend because I obviously don't remember in excruciating detail like what the cases were. So I'm going to save that for the weekend, but I do want to re-read my case for my first class tomorrow. We're having our first day of class for just legal writing and analysis. So I want to re-read the homework for that and kind of apply the tools that we learned today. And then we also had a panel of uh, 3Ls that talked to us and they gave really good advice on like finals, outlining, practice exams, all of this stuff that like you kind of know and you kind of hear about, but they went into a lot more detail and they had some really good insight. So that was really helpful. I did have a good orientation day, just like the rest of life was really bad. So it happens, we all have those days, but I'm gonna actually sit down over there so I can prop you up on my chair and show you guys a little haul of all the goodies we got today because it's some really exciting stuff. Okay, sorry if the lighting sucks, but I thought it'd be easier to show you like this than on my desk. But first of all, they gave us a little drawstring, drawstring bag. Oh my God, you can tell it's been a long day. And it says Illinois Law on it, which I think is so cute. And the first thing I saw when I opened this up, I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be good because they gave us such a nice water bottle. It's from Lexus, which I believe is like the online database or like one of the online databases for like cases or something like that. Honestly, I don't know. I've heard Lexus a lot, but I don't really know the purpose of it. But this is like basically a hydro flask. So I'm very pleased with this. I'm gonna wash it and use it for school because it will fit in my car's like cup holder because my 32 ounce um, hydro flask is really fat. So it only fits in one of the two cup holders. But anyways, um, then they gave us like a bunch of food, not a bunch, but like <laughs> some snacks. So there's pretzels, there's Rice Krispies and then a little granola bar which I love these like Nature Valley things. So I was really happy about that. And then this, I'm gonna get so much use out of. It's an Illinois, um, what's this called, luggage tag. Um, and you can just like obviously write your information on the back. But I think this is gonna be so, so perfect. And my suitcase is navy blue. So it'll match. It's, it's gonna be so cute, I'm so excited. Then they gave us a set of post-it notes, which some of the people that I was talking to got like cute colors, like 
teal and pink and I got like the most boring original ugly yellow. So I am kind of salty about that. <laughs> um, but then we got a stress ball that says Illinois law for obvious reasons. Hand sanitizer, again, for obvious reasons. Then a highlighter, more obvious. Um, and then this Illinois College of Law pen, which it's not 0.5. So we all know I'm not going to be using that pen. Maybe I'll give it away or something. And then I'm really, really excited about this. This, first of all, the bag is so cute. Um, but this is a reusable straw. And it literally has, I don't know if you can see that. Is it going to focus? It has Illinois written on it, which I thought was adorable. So we've got that. And then some earbuds for like noise cancellation. A Lego. Just kidding. It's a highlighter, um, which I will probably never use, <laughs> but it's fine. Um, and then the last like important thing, and then there's like pamphlets in there, um, is an Illinois College of Law sticker. I wish this was cuter because this is kind of ugly to be honest. So it's kind of an ugly sticker, but you know, I'll take it. So yeah, that's all I got. And then we get our t-shirts tomorrow, which I'm really excited to see what they look like. I kind of got a glimpse of them because the graduate students got theirs today. So I'm excited to see if ours are like different or anything, but yeah, that was my little haul. I'm just really excited about this water bottle. Like this is going to be great, but yeah, I'm going to go now and relax and do my laundry and I will probably talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm not going to do my rereading thing that I was talking about earlier tonight because I'm just beat, but I'm going to wake up at six tomorrow like usual and just do it then because we don't have um, class until 10 and I think breakfast is at nine. So got a solid like two and a half hours um, if I wake up at six to study before I need to get ready and leave. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday. It's 8.20 in the morning right now, and I'm gonna leave in like the next 30-ish minutes. Um, but I just wanted to check in and say, hey, uh, I woke up at like six o'clock this morning, you guys saw, and worked on my legal writing and analysis like case, like our first assignment that we're gonna be going over today. I was not anxious to get cold called at all, like throughout the summer, before I had even applied to law school. Like I was never nervous about cold calls because I've just kind of accepted that I'm either gonna know the answer or I'm not and no one's gonna remember anything and it'll be fine. But this morning and last night, I have started to develop some nervous jitters for cold calls. I just don't want to be the first person called on in class today because this is the first class that any of us are taking in law school and just first class, first cold call does not sound like a good time. Um, yeah, but I, I worked on that for about like an hour and then I, I obviously got ready so I can show you guys my outfit. I straightened my hair today, which I don't usually do because my hair is naturally straight, but you know, first day, I want to make a good impression, so I just straightened my hair. I'm wearing the same necklace that I wore on Wednesday that I don't know where it's from, and I literally never change my earrings, so yeah. Um, 
yeah, my jewelry always stays the same except like my necklace. I might like spice things up with a different one. And by different, I mean like one of the three necklaces I own. So I opted for this one, but same ring, Apple Watch, Pandora bracelet. Um, this cardigan is so stinking cute. Like I love this thing. It's so warm and just really, really cute. Um, it's actually from Ross. It was like $10. I was very shocked. Um, I don't usually shop there, but my mom loves that store and I went in with her and I saw this and I was like, oh my God, I need it. So got this super cute, but I'm sure you can find something like this at like other places. Um, this tank top is either from Shein or H&M. Not sure. These jeans are from Target. I'm going to move my chair. Um, they're just medium wash skinny jeans, which I know skinny jeans are like not in fashion anymore, but I will never stop wearing skinny jeans. I will just say that. But yeah, they're pretty cute. I really, really like them. They're really comfortable. Um, and I'm obviously wearing my slippers, <laughs> but I think for... Oh my god, I almost fell. Um, but for shoes, I think I'm going to wear my Nike Platform Air Force Ones. Just because those are the comfiest shoes that I own. Aside from like my running shoes. And we have this like fun on the field event afterwards. Hosted by the Women's Law Society. And it's like a bunch of games on Cribbit Field. And like prizes and refreshments and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I just thought if I decided that I wanted to stay for that, I would, um, wear those shoes. But one thing I definitely need to do today is go get my ID card from the student union because I've been saying I was going to do that all week and I still haven't done it and I really need it before school starts. So I think I'm going to go after our like class photos um, if I don't decide to do the fun on the field thing, but if I do, I'll just go after that. Um, I was going to go this morning, but like that was the original plan that I was going to go at like 8 a.m. to the student union, pick up my ID card, and then head to the law building because we have breakfast at 9. But then I had that panic attack about, oh my god, I think I did the readings completely wrong and I'm just like stupid. So I had to wake up and do that instead of going there so another rambly clip from me but i am just really nervous this morning and i thought i would talk it out it is kind of hitting me that law school is actually starting which is terrifying but i'm i'm really really excited like overall yeah i also like haven't finished my coffee i have like a couple sips left so i'm gonna do that maybe watch like a youtube video and then we'll head over to campus I'm walking to class. Vlogging in public is very awkward. But here we are. That's it. That's the update that I'm walking to class and I'm holding the phone really low. And I'm vlogging on my phone so no one knows. But bye. Okay, uh, it is now 2 p.m. I got home like just a little bit ago but I was updating my mom on how everything went but yeah I had a pretty good like first day of class but it, it wasn't really actually my first day like yeah we had like the case and stuff but we barely went over it so but we do have a writing assignment due before class on Monday but it seems pretty like straightforward we just have to write two pages double spaced about a work of writing that we think was good writing and why we thought it was good writing so pretty easy pretty straightforward but still gonna probably take me a little bit to write um and we also got our little college of law shirts which i think are actually really cute i'm probably never gonna wear this again out but it'll be a nice shirt to sleep in um and the lighting keeps changing and i look really orange i don't know why i look orange i hope i don't look like this and I hope I wasn't just walking around looking this, do I look orange? I don't look orange in the mirror, so I don't know what's going on. But yeah, so like I said, it's about 2 o'clock. And we have like a little group chat going with a bunch of people that, you know, we're all like trying to be friends and that kind of stuff. And I think they're all like trying to go out tonight, which I don't know. 
if I'm gonna go, I, I probably will. Uh, I see my normal personality would tell me to just sit at home and do nothing tonight, but that's not gonna cut it in law school. I'm gonna have to push myself and I'm gonna have to put myself out there. So I'm basically gonna force myself to go out. Um, at this like local bar, there is a bar on campus called Legends and it's like also a restaurant and stuff. So yeah, also I got my student ID, which I, I'm gonna cover like everything on so I can show you guys, but here's what it looks like. I don't know why I look really, really blue, but I think that's just like how they print it. But yeah, super fun, love to see it. So I'm gonna put this in my wallet. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because it, it has gone on so long um, and I just ramble a lot and I probably will not be filming anything tonight because I'm not gonna whip out my camera in front of a bunch of new people. That's not happening. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog of my law school orientation. The next video that I post is going to be my first day of law school. So keep a lookout for that. I'm really excited for that one. I hope I can get some good footage and better than just like the two second B-roll that I had for this, but I'll get more comfortable vlogging on campus, I promise. But for now, I'm gonna head out. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning or night wherever you are, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.